So we've had the question asked, what is an island reversal? Uh, it's, and so somebody in, in the chat room posted this uh, link and I, I've clicked on it and opened it up. This isn't quite what I would call an island reversal, but because I normally would think of it as just one candle. But assume that this yellow box is just one candle. And what you have, you have the market uh, trading down and then you have this gap down and this island or this candle is all by itself and then it gaps back up. That's an island reversal. And that's a very bullish chart. Let me see if I can find um, something else on that. Interestingly enough, I normally thought of an island reversal as, as a bullish type of chart because uh, I'm always looking for it at the bottom. But in this case, you can see the island reversal is at the top and that's a bearish. So you've got the market moving up. It gaps up, trades for a couple, two, three days or time periods, whatever it is, and then gaps back down. That's an island reversal and that's uh, that's a negative chart. That's a bearish chart. Um, there's tons of examples of island reversal in images on Google, if you want to just have a look for them. Here, maybe this is, this is probably a good chart too. So this is an island, okay, they call it a bullish abandoned baby or a bearish abandoned baby. This is the candlestick, Japanese candlesticks. Um, but you get the idea. The market is trading down, it gaps down, and then gaps back up, and then the market should take off. So that's, and then the vice versa on the bearish side. So that's what an island reversal is.